from larger to life to small enough to fit into the palm of your hands. These 20 breeds are so fascinating, you'd want one for yourself. You may even find yourself questioning if Photoshop was used, but I promise you, these are real breeds. Beautiful and unique, keep watching to see just what types of breeds people have been creating in the last few decades. Number 20, Aussie Palm. Mix a mini Australian Shepherd and a Pomeranian, and this is what you get. The history of the Aussie Palm is not exactly known. What is known about this beautiful breed is that they were recognized by the American Kennel Club in 1993. The Aussie Palm is a very popular breed, most notably in the US and the UK. Aussie Palms possess unique pattern coats and fox-like features, which may explain their popularity. Number 19, Rotsky. Mix a Rottweiler and a Siberian Husky, and this is what you get. Radiant eyes and strong features, the Rotsky strongly takes after both its parents. A unique feature that happens to be pretty common with the breed is heterochromia, which is a trait where the eyes can be two completely different colors. It's important to keep in mind that while Rotskis are very friendly and loyal, they can also be wary around strangers. If you wish to introduce this breed into a family with children, make sure that your Rotsky is properly trained. After training your Rotsky, you'll most likely find that your children will have a very loyal pet by their side. Number 18, Afen Huawa. Thought to be the world's tiniest dog, this crossbreed of a Chihuahua and Offen Pincher will surely get a reaction. In the US, this designer dog breed is not one to be spotted easily in cities, and you may have to do a bit of searching if you wish to acquire one of your own. One of the reasons for this is because the Offen Huawa just began to show up towards the 21st century. The Offen Huawa is a great breed to get if you're prone to allergies. They have a thick, dense fur, and while they'll need to be brushed often, they rarely shed, which is part of the reason they're considered hypoallergenic. Number 17, Daug. Originating only about 15 to 20 years ago, the Daug has a unique appearance thanks to its parents. Mixed with a Dachshund and Pug, the Daug has a more elongated face like a Dachshund, but features a curly tail from its Pug parent. This is an incredibly loyal breed to their owner and will stick to your side like glue. The downside to this loyalty is they're very protective and may be wary around strangers, causing them to bark often. Make sure that you bring a dog around strangers as they grow up to help them get associated with meeting new people. Another similar dog would happen to be the Frog, which is a mixture of a pug and French bulldog. The personality of these two is almost identical, fiercely loyal and mellow. Both of these breeds would make great pets for companionship. Number 16, Chowski. If you're looking for a fluff ball to love, look no further than a Chowski, a cross between a Chow Chow and a Siberian Husky. This breed does happen to have a ton of energy, so it's recommended that first-time owners stay away from owning a Chowski. If you do happen to be a first-time owner with your heart set on a Chowski, you'll have to keep in mind that you have to seriously train them. When you do train them well, you'll find that the Chowski is an excellent breed to own. Another breed that's similar is the Pomsky, mixed with a Pomeranian instead of a Chow Chow. While there happens to be a small difference in size, the amount of love they give and their friendly personalities are almost identical. Number 15, Golden Doodle. As you might guess, when you cross a Golden Retriever and a Poodle together, you get a beautiful breed with a unique coat. Considered a designer mixed breed, but not yet recognized by the American Kennel Club, they're a highly sought after breed. The Golden Doodle is an excellent family pet who will socialize with almost any and everyone they meet. Due to their friendly nature, they're not a breed suited for guard-type roles. If that is one of the traits you're looking for in a breed, it'd be best to reconsider the lovable Golden Doodle. Number 14, Shiba Mo. A mix between a Shiba Inu and American Eskimo, the Shiba Mo is the perfect pet if you're considering an easily trained and lovable dog. They retain the desire to please their owners, which results in them quickly learning commands. Weighing in at no more than 15 pounds at their heaviest, this breed is perfect for people looking for a smaller dog breed to own. Besides their small stature, the Shiba Mo is also low maintenance, so while it may need grooming, it won't need it as often as other breeds. Number 13, Labski. You could expect that with the parents of a Husky and Labrador Retriever, the Labski is born with a determination to do their job. Always willing to please their owner, the Lapsky will pick up and follow almost any type of command with the proper type of training. This breed is also very affectionate and friendly around children, especially younger kids. 
One thing to keep in mind when owning your Lapski is that like all crossbreeds, their personality is never fully known. Before you decide if a Lapski is right for you, observe other Lapskis and develop a general feel for the breed. Number 12, Utanagan. Unlike the other breeds in this video, the Utanagan is one of the few crossbreeds that happens to be made up of three different breeds. Once sold as a wolf hybrid, the Utanagan does possess wolf-like features, but it's actually only a mixture of an Alaskan Malamute, Siberian Husky, and German Shepherd. Because the Utanagan was specifically bred for its work capacity and high endurance, it's very common to see this breed in Finland, partaking in dog trials and competitions. Number 11, Cheagle. Mixing a Chihuahua and a Beagle together will get you quite a unique looking breed that is adorable in its own way. Cheagles have a big heart and huge personalities due to the mix of their parents. This breed may also be difficult to train due to its high energy, especially if it has more Beagle than Chihuahua. Make sure that if you decide to own a Cheagle, that you give it plenty of love and exercise. Number 10, Pembroke Sheltie. The Pembroke Sheltie appears in this video as one of the older crossbreeds to be recognized by the American Kennel Club. A mix between a Pembroke Welsh Corgi and Shetland Sheepdog, this breed originated in the US, eventually became recognized by the kennel in 1911. Because of its fluffy appearance and mellow demeanor, it's no wonder why the Pembroke Sheltie grew so popular among the population. They're incredibly family-oriented and will always guard your children or family when the situation calls for it. Number 9, Cocker Pay. A wrinkly face and a lovable heart, this crossbreed mix between a Cocker Spaniel and Sharpay would make the perfect addition to your home. Due to lower energy, the Cocker Pay would usually rather spend its time relaxing with its loved ones, but they still enjoy a nice daily walk. A very intelligent breed, they have a high amount of independence, which can translate into stubbornness at times. If you happen to have a lower amount of patience, you may want to reconsider this sassy but lovable breed. Number 8, Schnoodle. Coming in a variety of colors and sizes, this crossbreed made up of a Schnauzer and a Poodle is quite the popular hybrid nowadays. The Schnoodle is a great breed if you're considering looking for a dog to fill not only as a companion, but also a watchdog type of role. One downside to this breed concerning their protectiveness is that they may bark too often, especially with strangers. It's important to provide the right discipline to nip this trait in the bud when they're younger. Number 7, Kavachan. If you're looking for a smaller breed that's perfect for those living in apartments or other smaller living conditions, you may want to consider the Kavachan. A mix between a Cavalier King Charles Spaniel and a Bichon Frise, the temperament of the Kavachan is one that is very gentle. While it may vary among the breed, they're usually quite accepting of almost anyone who happens to approach them. Though this breed is lively and playful, this breed is not overly active, so they would rather spend the day relaxing with their owner. Number 6, Chippen. Small in stature, but large in personality. This mix between a Chihuahua and a miniature Pincher can be quite the handful sometimes. If you're worried about training the Chippen, especially if you're a first-time owner, try not to worry. The Chippen is a very intelligent breed, so training should be pretty smooth sailing as they pick up on their new tricks and habits. Number 5, Shali. A breed mix of a German Shepherd and a Border Collie, the Shali has yet to be recognized by many U.S. canine registries. A few traits that the Shali is thought to have are to be energetic and to love constant affection from its owner. One thing you'll need to keep in mind if you decide to own a Shali is they need to be groomed pretty frequently. They have long, thick coats that shed pretty often, so brushing them is a must. Number 4, Labradane. If you're looking for a bigger dog with a ton of energy, the Labradane may be right for you. Mixed with a Labrador Retriever and a Great Dane, the Labradane has an abundance of love and affection to give its owner. While some people may be put off by the Labradane's large size, this breed happens to be one of the gentlest ones out there. They're great with children, and they tend to have a wonderful time playing in a home with a larger backyard. Number 3, Bullmation. Many people looking for a new pet to own may love the look of the Dalmatian, but very few can handle the energy that this large breed contains. That's why the Bullmation is the best choice for the people who cannot handle a Dalmatian. The Bullmation combines the gentleness of a Bulldog, while still combining the coat and loyalty of a Dalmatian. Because of the mellowness of the Bullmation, this breed happens to make a great family pet for many years, and you can make sure that you'll always have a lovable pet by your side. Number 2, Greyhound Shepherd. 
The Greyhound Shepherd is a powerful breed due to its individual parents, the German Shepherd and the Greyhound. Built with the speed and determination to protect, the Greyhound Shepherd is a very highly sought after breed, but you'll be lucky to find one easily. Just like with any other type of hybrid that you choose to buy from a breeder instead of adopting, make sure you do your research. Breeders have been known to falsify claims that the puppies that they have are Greyhound Shepherd, so it's important to make sure you are buying from a respectable breeder. While it's always difficult to know the exact traits of a crossbreed, the Greyhound Shepherd is not a dog recommended for households with smaller animals, like cats. Number 1. American Bull Huawa Unlike most hybrids, the American Bull Huawa doesn't come from designer parents and is actually a newer addition to the world of crossbreeds. The size difference between the American Bulldog and Chihuahua is such an issue when it comes to breeding that breeders usually use American Bull Huawas to further the lineage. Because of this, the American Bull Huawa is not a dog recognized by the American Kennel Club. Another somewhat similar breed is the mixture of a Great Dane and Chihuahua. Incredibly rare and almost impossible to find, this breed mix is certainly possible, but not usually recommended because of the drastic size difference. Apparently, the resulting litter are attractive, medium-sized, Great Dane-looking dogs with very short legs. Which crossbreed did you like the most? Let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching.